Hello, Bert Robbie again with the uh, Multicam SIG group giving you some more information about the changes we're making on the Multicam. Today I want to talk about the FASMR surface method system for setting your Z levels on the Multicam. Most of you use the method where you set first the surface and then the max depth. Two separate steps, two separate measurements. Multicam has a different method, an alternative method, that is really designed to be used when there's an irregular surface and it's hard to figure out where the surface might be. I personally use it for a totally different reason. I cut a lot of 15.9 millimeter Baltic birch. It's roughly a fat 5 8 inch thick. But let me demonstrate to you one of the problems with that. These are two pieces of that material. In theory, they are the same. You can see maybe, hopefully, this one measures 16.2 millimeters. This one measures 16.4 millimeters. And remember, the specification was 15.9. So there's uh, always some variation. Even with MDF, which is one of the most uniform products you can work with, you will find differences from, from uh, board to board or part of a board to another part. If you're carving on the surface or pocketing on the surface and you really need to know where the surface is, the method you've been using works really well and is what I recommend for continued use. However, if you're trying to cut all the way through, which is what I do frequently, what's important to me is that I get to the spoil board but not into the spoil board. And what really irritates me is when I have an onion skin left in one spot and I'm cutting through the uh, into the soil board, spoil board in another spot because I didn't get a good measurement. The way I get around that is by specifying all of my cuts to be 0.65 inches deep, a little bit more than the material measures even at its thickest point. And then I use the FASMR method to zero the machine out. Basically what that method does is in one step do everything from the spoil board. You don't put the touch pad on the top of your material. You put it on the spoil board. And then you activate the shift key. And then you hit the surface button. Not max depth, surface button. Shift, surface. When you do that, the first thing it will ask you is how thick is the material? In my case, I enter 0 0.65. Enter. Then it says that you're ready to auto set. Hold down the zero button, let it come down and touch the pad that's resting on the spoil board, and when it does, it will come back up to a safe height, and it will tell you that both the surface and the max depth have been set in one step. And now when I cut, it's doing everything off of that surface board. And all the work we've done on the spoil board has been to try to get that as level as possible. So by doing this approach, having a depth that is uh, at least as high as the highest point on my material, 
and cutting to the spoil board on a uniform basis, I don't have to worry about did I measure the board surface height at the best place. I'm working off of the spoil board. And this is a method I recommend any time you are cutting all the way through. Use the other method when you're working on the surface or doing pockets of the surface. Use this when you're cutting through and you will not end up having to repair the spoil board or being left with uh, a lot of onion skin. Thank you.